Um, uh, hello? Oh, oh so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Yeah, um, I was just going to grab something out of the cooler behind you. Excuse me? Nothing like drinking a cold one on a hot summer day. Hey, um, I don't mean to be weird, but can I sit with you for a minute? Thanks. So, um, are you okay over here? Are you sure? Because you look very hot. Wait, wait, nope. I, I meant you look like you're sweating a lot. Um, I'm just worried that you'll get heat stroke or something. You sure you're okay? Well, all right. But you know, wearing a sweater on a hot summer day is a surefire way to give yourself a heat stroke. Especially if you're not staying hydrated. I mean, if you like it that much, then more power to you. But you know, it wouldn't exactly look good on us if you were over here melting into a puddle while we're having a good time. Nah, I think I'll stay here. Besides, I kind of wanted to get to know you a little more. Well, your brother has told us about you from time to time, but you see, I'm the type of person who likes to get the full scoop. That and meeting new people is kind of fun. Yeah, well, for me it is. There's always something interesting about someone that makes them, well, interesting. And I find you to be interesting. And I would love to get to know you a little bit better. What? What's with that face? <laughs> oh, okay. I get that a lot. I am quite popular, but that's only because I love meeting new people. And I prefer to be on good terms with everyone I meet. But I think I rambled enough about me. So, I should ask. You wanted to come to the beach, right? So then why are you sitting back here with a sweater on? I mean, I could understand if you weren't a swimming type. I know there are some people who wouldn't go a mere six feet near any body of water, but the sort of thing is really putting me off. Hmm. Okay, tell you what. Here. Just wanted to make sure you stay hydrated. In the meantime, I'll tell you an embarrassing story about myself. Only if you promise to answer my question. Deal? Oh, come on. It's not one of those, oh no, I told the waitress you too after they said enjoy your meal type of things. Which I have done more times than I can count on both hands. Nah, this is actually embarrassing. <laughs> like, I only shared the story with your brother, and I had to because he's the one who helped me out. So, how about it? Sweet. All right. So, this happened, like, a few years ago. So, your brother and I were at this girl's house. Her name was Catalina, or something. Anyway... I, we just came back from lunch and we went to her place because I guess your brother was dating her at the time or at least trying to. So we were there just hanging when suddenly stomach starts churning. I mean, it was really churning. Now, naturally, this was not a good sign. And before I even had a chance to get up, whoop, talking the loudest trumpet sound you could only imagine. Seconds later, your brother and the girl walked in, and at this point, I was holding my breath, expecting to feel a wave of shame. But you want to know what saved me? The dog. <laughs> Turns out, her dog was in the room with me, and we basically blamed the dog for the sound and the odor. You're right, it wasn't that bad. It got worse. <laughs> Gut was still acting up, so I politely excused myself to her restroom. Once I got in there, I was free to let it all out. And boy, let me tell you, it was not fun. <laughs> so after doing my business, I go to flush the toilet and my worst nightmare had come true that day. The toilet had clogged and the worst part, the water was rising and there was no plunger in sight. Why she didn't have a plunger, I don't know. At this point, 
I'm panicking. I'm frantically searching everywhere in this bathroom for something that can at least serve as a makeshift plunger, but no dice. Yeah, if I wasn't going to be slain for the fart bomb I dropped earlier, I was definitely going to get slaughtered for this. And I did the one thing any guy would do in any situation like this. Oh god, I didn't tell her, even though I, I, in hindsight I probably should have. No, instead I got up, washed my hands, left the bathroom, went back to the living room, and told the two of them that I, an emergency came up and I had to leave. Yeah, I, I told him that I would text him the details later and that and took that long, vigorous walk from her place to mine. Of course I had to walk. I didn't have a vehicle at the time and your brother was my ride. So I uh, I kind of walked because I, I had to get out of there as fast as possible. On the way, I did text him about what had transpired in that bathroom and pretty much begged him to cover for me, which he agreed. And I, I, I still owe him big time for that one. So yeah, he took the hit from me. And the two hadn't really spoken to each other since, which according to him, was a good thing because he found another eye candy girl that got his attention shortly after. And Catalina had never used a plunger before, so yeah, she wasn't exactly the brightest. I guess she saw the toilets unclog themselves. Her parents were the ones to do all the plumbing work in the house, so she had no idea how any of that worked, let alone what a plunger looked like. So she never bothered buying one. And yeah, that's uh, my super embarrassing story. So now you and your brother are now the only people who know this. Oh, no, trust me, I was dying of embarrassment and cringe for weeks just thinking about it. I still can't believe that it happened. Like... The hell are the chances, right? So yeah, that's my story. But now, it's your turn. No, not to tell me a story, but to answer my question. You do remember our deal now, do you? Alrighty, so tell me, what's with the long sleeves? Oh, come on, I kept my part by telling you an embarrassing story. Hey, okay, listen, if you don't want to tell me, that's fine. I wasn't going to force you to anyway. Yeah, really. I don't know why, but I feel like I could just be myself around you. I know that I enjoy meeting new people and learning more about them, but, you know, I don't share stories like that one that I just told you. Normally because it's super embarrassing, but with you, it's like, kind of just loosen up and to let my guts out, you know? I guess I was just hoping to build a bridge of trust between us. I've seen you a few times in school, but never had a chance to speak with you. Now, years later, here we are. After graduation, on a beach. Yeah, I meant everything I said. Hmm? Oh, so you'll tell me why you're wearing long sleeves then? Hey, you don't have to. I didn't need a guilt trip. Oh. Well, if it's alright with you then, go ahead. I'm all ears. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So, basically, you don't have the stereotypical summer bod and you feel insecure about it. Seriously? I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to come off as abrasive. It's just that you really shouldn't be concerned. Trust me, nobody is going to judge or make fun of you for not having a perfect bod for summer. And if they do, me and the boys will set them straight. Yeah, besides, everybody has their own unique body type. Everyone has different cholesterol levels, calorie intake, and of course, society doesn't do a good job at emphasizing this. They try to pretty much say, hey, one size fits all, but specifically, if you do not fit this specific size, you are going to be shunned by society. Ugh. Especially since, again, everyone has their own body type. Everyone is built differently. So you shouldn't really be feeling insecure about it. In fact, let me show you something. Okay. See this? Oh, it, 
Yeah, sorry. You can look. It's fine. I just... Don't worry about it. I wanted you to see it anyway. Come on, have a look. Yeah, it's a scar. Got it from a bear during a camping trip with Dad. It's cool, huh? It's funny. Everyone else has said the same thing. While everyone said it was cool, I certainly didn't think so. In fact, I used to be super insecure about it. I remember doing everything I could to make sure nobody saw it. Then one day during gym class, I stuck around the locker room till everyone was gone. The plan was for me to quickly take off the uniform and put my gym shirt on, since I forgot to wear it underneath. Unfortunately, someone walked in and saw my scar. To my surprise, they found it super interesting. Even more so when I told them the story of how I got it. Next thing I know, they nicknamed me the Red Cyclone because I wrestled a bear and survived. Yeah, my story and nickname spread like wildfire throughout the school. Everyone wanted to see it and talk about how much of a badass I was and how I had the scar to prove it. I think they did exaggerate the story a little bit, but still, I no longer felt insecure about it. So, if it's alright with you, you can take the sweater off. I won't judge. You will? Great. Because I'm seriously worried that you'll get heat stroke eventually. Wait, 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 you don't have to take the shirt off to... Oh, your shirt underneath got stuck. Uh, do you, uh, want to put your shirt back on? Uh, um, nothing, it's just... Can I be honest? Like, brutally honest? Okay, sorry for sounding blunt, but fuck, you are hot. <laughs> hey, seriously, like... Fucking hell! You just might be my type. You know, I've always been attracted to you for a long while, but after seeing that, yeah, no, that, that pretty much confirms it. Do, do you feel the same way? Huh? Oh, uh, looks like they're calling me over. Hey, why don't you come join us? You don't have to get in the water. I'm tired of swimming around myself anyway. Well, just think about it, okay? It'll be a lot more fun if you do. And, hey, maybe we could get together again sometime and, you know, have a good time? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to tease you so hard, but, yeah. I would love for the two of us to get together and do something. Give us some thought and let me know, okay? And, hey, don't worry about taking a minute. I can wait. Alright? Talk to you later. Howdy.